and Jenna and Donna. Here's my dating dilemma. I've been out three times now with an awesome girl, and we're definitely on the same page in terms of what we're looking for. We're planning to meet up over the holiday weekend. My question is, how soon would be too soon to have a chat about where things stand with us? By the way, Jenna, she's a teacher. Aww. Thanks, ladies. Teachers. Yes, John is really cute. Okay, so what do you think? It's never too soon to have talk about where. I mean, I heard about you proposing like during a dance after a couple months. That might have been April. Yeah, you know, like it hasn't. It's trendy now. Of a time, especially if you feel like you've built up that rapport, you've been on several dates, clearly communicate your intention. Part of what makes dating hard right now is that people are on wildly different pages. Yeah, so one is planning the wedding, a la Jenna, and another <laughs> one is like, ah, oh, I'm just hanging out. We we should be roommates. Yeah. Um, so clearly stating, in, but prepared for whatever the outcome may be yeah. is like do so without expectation think, i mean well, i i will say though and i feel like you, you probably felt this if you say something on a first date it's too much. that might you be don't scary know the person is yeah. like it, it should be your intention Authentic. should be based around the person not just desperation to be in a relationship which is not the vibe i get no, from no, john. john like john john you're a winner we're rooting for you <laughs> over here um and it seems like he genuinely is into her and that they're maybe into each other it's all the way you say it also yeah. if you're like you know, I'd love to see you see more of you, or I'd love to do this next time. Engage her. That's also it. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have Desette from North Carolina. Let's take a listen to her question. Been a career-driven woman and have put date in second. Now that I'm older and mature, I love. I want to find someone to settle down with and grow old with. However, the problem that I'm finding that the men my age only want to date younger women. I'm tired of being overlooked because of a number. Tell me, how can I find someone that looks beyond age? Okay, first of all, if she doesn't find yeah. se- suitors yeah. right now, right, right. I don't know what she does now. No, it's she's a um, in that that's energy. such a true statement. It's true, and it's become more true because of things like online dating, which have their place. They, can, they really were... Number. We've all seen the profile where it's like the big number, right? Yeah. Like, like yeah. sitting first thing that you see. What you want to do is think about the kind of person you're trying to attract, the man or the woman, and where the... We had a moment where we lucky. And what do we do? We lose our keys. We're usually like, if I were keys, where, where would I be? <laughs> Scenario. But that's typically what dating because when they see your energy when they yeah. see how lively you are how you carry yourself how you're having fun in the moment he's not gonna care about your age <laughs> he's just gonna love that you're there but when you limit yourself to just online dating yeah. it can because that's the first thing they're gonna see and we for whatever reason have preconceived notions about different ages yes. that's tell you because i kind of in a similar you know career driven and to, to date but I think that sometimes I project things and is what I was thinking like often when I'm scrolling or whatever I'm like oh they just want a petite blonde yeah because that's my insecurity yeah like, maybe yeah. not yeah can I just yes. the four things that any man's looking for okay this is after doing oh, things there's yeah. four yeah. things there are four things after interviewing trigger four things I'm whether he's 20 20- Okay. Here's what it is. If he's relationship oriented, he's asking himself when he's on a date with you, he's saying, am I attracted to her? Do I have fun with her? Do I respect her? And do we want the same things? And if he's going on a date with you, he's attracted to you. Uh, he, he, a lot of times we mess up because either he'll have too much fun with us, but lose a little respect because we're too easy going. We yeah. create a lot of space for them or we're so rigid. So he respects us, but it's not so fun. Yes. So out. It's those four things all the time i see the men in here looking at me but i'm telling you i think you guys would agree it is subconsciously we have to get to this last yeah, question yes. this is from kaylin okay she's from los angeles let's hear her question on a few dates with this one guy and we went to breakfast for the first time in a day and then we hung out for a little bit and then afterwards i went in to lean in to give him a kiss goodbye and instead he kind of like dodged and then kissed me like here on the side of my face and I'm spiraling. I'm so confused. And is that not normal to kiss someone in the day? Oh, oh. the dodge kiss. I've had one or two in yeah. my. Yeah, we all have. Yeah, 
look, anytime someone's moonwalking out of a relationship, it's not a good sign. Yeah. So people do kiss in the day. If he's being weird and different than he has any other time, it may just mean that that person isn't the best fit for you, yeah. but that could mean that someone even better is coming along. 100%. So also don't sweat it. Kaylin, you did nothing wrong. Nothing just wrong. know that. Well, and sometimes we put too much expectation on a first date yeah. or a first kiss. Yeah, Maybe right. he just was like trying to be, I don't know. Yeah, but it's not like they'd hung out before okay. so that's when it's like going backwards if all it's right. the first date it's not a big deal okay first of all you are a new dating i humor. know <laughs> you are incredible talk about dating in a relatable cool way oh, guys yeah, well, i love you, you guys okay. <laughs> thank you so if you have a dating dilemma you need help solving send us a video and tell us all about it at hodenjenna.com just hit the connect button next ice pops with a little food perfect for you yeah. see how lively you are how you carry yourself how you're having fun in the moment he's not gonna care about your age <laughs> he's just gonna love you're there but when you limit yourself to just online dating yeah. it can because that's the first thing they're going to see and we for whatever reason have preconceived notions about different ages yes. let's tell you because i kind of in a similar or you know career driven and ready to, to date but i think that sometimes i project things and is what thinking like often when i'm scrolling or whatever i'm like oh they just want a petite blonde yeah because that's my insecurity yeah Maybe yeah. not. Yeah. Can I just tell you the yes. four things that any man's looking for? Okay. This is after doing oh, things. There's yeah, four yeah. things. There are four things after interviewing. Trigger four things. Yeah. Whether he's twenty. Yeah. Here's what it is. If he's relationship oriented, he's asking himself when he's on a date with you. He's saying, "Am I attracted to her? Do I have fun with her? Do I respect her? And do we want the same things?" And if he's going on a date with you, he's attracted to you. Uh, he, he, a lot of times we mess up because either he'll have too much fun with us but lose a little respect because we're too easygoing. We yeah. create a lot of space for them. Or we're so rigid so he respects us but it's not so fun. Yes. It's, work out. it's those four things all the time. I see the men in here looking at me but I'm telling you, I think you guys would agree. So it is subconsciously. Right. Anyway, we have to get to this last yeah. question. Yes. This is from Kaylin. Okay, she's from Los Angeles. Let's hear her question. On a few dates with this one guy and we went to breakfast for the first time in the day. And then we hung out for a little bit. And then afterwards, I went in to lean in to give him a kiss goodbye. And instead, he kind of like dodged and then kissed me like here on the side of my face. And I'm spiraling, I'm so confused. And is it not normal to kiss someone in the day? Oh, oh. the dodge kiss, I've had one or two in yeah. my there we all have yeah look anytime someone's moonwalking out of a relationship it's not a good sign yeah. so people do kiss in the day if he's being weird and different than he has any other time it may just mean that that person isn't the best fit for you yeah. but that could mean that someone even better is coming yeah. south when he's on a date with you he's saying am i attracted to her do i have fun with her do i respect her and do we want the same things and if he's going on a date with you he's attracted to you uh he, he, a lot of times we mess up because either he'll have too much fun with us but lose a little respect because we're too easygoing. We yeah. create a lot of space for them. Or we're so rigid so he respects us but it's not so fun. Yes. So it work out. It's those four things all the time. I see the men in here looking at me but I'm telling you, I think you guys would agree. It is subconsciously. Anyway, we have to get to the last question. Yeah. 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 Yeah